friends, thanks for joining me for my craft room makeover part two. Friends, I wanted to touch base with you, give you a quick update on the room. Um, most of the tile is up. What you're seeing here is cement and I have a few pieces of the tile like sandwiched together. So the sticky sides are together so that I have something to walk on because the floor is pretty sticky. I put some other stuff down too just so I have a path to walk on. But I wanted to show you, you see the blue right there? Well, that was from the, I'm trying not to move too fast, that was from the chair rail. So where you see the green and white kind of stripe look, that's where the chair rail used to be. So I took that out yesterday. As you can see, the cabinets that were up against that wall, they are out. They're actually right there. Those are actually filing cabinets. The countertop that was on top of it is out as well. The TV is down. Yeah, I think that's about it. That was about a couple hours of work that we did last night just to, to get to this place. So I ordered my cabinets. I ordered, um, I ordered some backsplash. I decided I want to do a backsplash over here. And then I also ordered some knobs. I'm not going to tell you what they look like, but I love them. And I think you will too. And then we'll have to decide. I have a very plain window covering and I like that because it looks very clean. It's just simple and clean. But I might end up doing something slightly more decorative. And then I have this big slider and then on my sliders I never put, I don't cover them with curtains or anything so I don't think I will because I really love seeing outside and I really love feeling like part of nature. So I probably won't cover that anyway. All right, friends, let's have a look at the new floors that are going in. I absolutely love them. I think they are beautiful. They remind me of driftwood on the beach and they really brighten up the room. So I'm super excited about them. They're almost done. We will take them through the kitchen, through the laundry room and through the hallway. A few days later now and as you can see some of the cabinets are up some of the uppers are up and all of the lowers are in actually and before we put the countertop on I am putting contact paper in the drawers since this is going to be an art and craft area I want to protect the drawers so I'm just using a peel and stick and it will come right out if I ever need it to and I'm just trimming up the edge there I kind of went up over the side so I just use a straight razor to trim that and then pull that right out of there that was very easy to do and now I'm going through and vacuuming out the cabinets because you know when they get drilled into the walls they end up with a lot of dust inside of them so I'm cleaning them out and then the other thing I'm doing is there was clear plastic on the front of each door just in order to protect it you know during shipping and actually while it was sitting on the counter at the home improvement store so they put that on there then they throw it in the box and then it sits on the counter and then they get purchased and moved around and all that so they just protect them which is smart because it keeps the paint from getting chipped and all that good stuff so then andrew helped me today to put the shelves inside of the cabinets so we got that done today as well I'm going to start putting a few things in the upper cabinets. I'm going to take my time though so that I can get everything nicely organized. And that's about it for today. I will keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. See you soon.